In this video, I am going to show you how to use the eShop function. To activate the eShop function, go to Plugins, Under eShop for WordPress, click on Activate. To add a new product, go to Post and click on Add New. Key in your product title. You may type in your product description and additional information which you would like to include in the box here. Under Product Entry, SKU refers to your product ID, also known as the inventory number. You can key in your product description here. Under Product Options, if you are selling products that come in different sizes or colors, you can list each size or color as well as the respective prices over here. If you set this product as your featured product by checking the box here, you will be able to see this particular product on your homepage. If your product is available for purchase, check product in sale. Do check stock available if you have stocks on hand. Under ET settings, which is also known as the Elegant Theme Settings, will only appear if you are using the Boutique or the eStore theme. This is where you key in your product price. Add in your product description over here. The product description which you have keyed in here will appear in the first half of your page, whereas the product description which you have keyed in in the box here will appear in the second half of your page. To upload your product image, click on Upload Image. You can upload up to 4 product images. After you have uploaded the product images, this is how your images will appear on your website. Special offer options are also available. For example, if you select Buy One Get One, This is how it will appear on your website. You can also categorize your products by clicking on Add New Category. After you have keyed in your category name, click on Add New Category. To add product tags, type your desired tag and click on Add. Product tags are keywords which you want a product to be attached to when one searches for a product in your website. To set a featured image, Click on Set Featured Image which can be found on the bottom right of the sidebar. Select the image for your product. Click on Use as Featured Image. Your featured image will appear here. Do remember to publish your post. Next, go to eShop and click on Orders. This is where you can track the status of your orders. Under Shipping, you can edit the shipping rate. When you choose your desired shipping method, the full table of shipping rates will appear below. It is possible to edit the table of shipping rates. However, do take note that changing the method of shipping may affect the full table of shipping rates. Hence, it is best that you decide on the shipping method first and then you proceed to editing the rates from the relevant table. Method 1 is shipping by quantity. The more the number of items purchased, the lower the shipping rate. Method 2 is shipping by class at a fixed rate no matter what quantity is ordered. Method 3 is shipping at one overall charge no matter what quantity is ordered. Method 4 is shipping by weight and zone. You can refer to FedEx website to view their classification of zones as well as their respective rates. You can change how you want to classify the zones, number of zones, as well as the default zone for unknown state, county or province, and whether or not to show shipping zones on the shipping rates page. This is where you add in the available shipping modes which you offer. Examples of shipping modes are FedEx, UPS and EMS. Choose your weight units. Examples of weight units are kilograms, grams and ounces. When you are done, click on Update Shipping Rate Calculation. After editing your table of shipping rates, click on Update Shipping Rate. Click on Countries. Check Delete for countries which you do not ship to. Check List if you want a particular country to appear at the top of the selection. When you are done, click on Update Shipping Zones. 
On the left sidebar, you will find the products tab where you will see all the products which you have created. You can edit or view your products here. Under option set, you will be able to key in your product variations like different sizes and colors. For example, if you are selling apparels of different colors, key in color as the display name and click on create. Under emails, you can choose the templates which you would like to edit and activate. To edit a template, simply click on template type and you can edit your subject and your email content here. After updating the template, click on update template. To activate a template for use, click on activate under the change column. Next, go to settings and click on eShop. Under business details, key in a main email address for your eShop so that your customers are able to email you on any matters. This is where you edit the number of options per product. This refers to the number of product variations. An example would be the number of colors of your product. You can also choose whether or not to have stock control. However, setting this to yes will change all products to zero stock. Therefore, each one will have to be set manually. To set the minimum or maximum purchase quantity per product, simply key in the quantity number in the boxes. To change your currency symbol, simply go to product details. Under general product settings, you can change your symbol here. When you're done, click on save changes. On the right sidebar, change your eShop status to live. Live mode means that actual money is being transacted. Click on save changes. Click on merchant gateways at the top. This is where you can choose your desired payment gateways. The most common one would be PayPal. To complete your PayPal settings, you will need to create a PayPal account from the PayPal website. After that, enter your PayPal address under main account email address. On the right sidebar, choose your business location and your currency code and click on save changes. In addition, you will also need to log in to your PayPal and set your desired currency code. Under the discounts tab, this is where you can enable discounts for your customers. For example, when they spend above a certain amount, a certain percentage of discount can be applied. You can also allow free shipping when customers spend above a certain amount. Simply key in the numbers in the boxes here. Click on Save Changes when amendments are made. If your product is of downloadable content, you can limit the number of download attempts here under the Downloads tab. Simply key in the number of attempts here. When you are done, click on Save Changes. So this is how you can use eShop to build up your e-commerce site. Enjoy!